Hi, my name is Jamie Gow and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer for the Cisco Unified Attendant Consoles. In this short video, I'm going to take you through the install process for the Attendant Console client software. Before you begin the installation, there's a few things that you need to check. You need to ensure that the client machine that you are using can communicate with the Attendant Console server via hostname. If it can't, you'll need to add a DNS entry or alternatively, add an entry into your host file. The next thing you need to check is that your Windows firewall is configured appropriately. If your Windows firewall is enabled, you can reference our design guide or installation guide for a list of ports which need allowed access. The last thing you need to check is your user access control settings. To do this, you can click on Start and go to Control Panel click on user accounts and then click on change user account control settings you need to set these to never notify in order for the client software to integrate with Cisco Jabber Cisco Cup or Microsoft OCS or Microsoft Link for presence information if you change these settings you'll need to restart your machine afterwards. Please note that the location of these settings and the steps taken to do this may vary on different operating systems. Once you are ready to begin the installation, you can double click on the install file. Click on next, enter a name and a company name you can then change the default destination location if you wish. Click Next. On this window, you're going to select if you're installing a standalone or a resilient solution. If you're installing either Enterprise, Business or Department Edition, this window won't show. I'm going to select a resilient and click Next. You're then going to get a message to warn you to ensure that you enter the publisher server information when you continue. Click on OK and then provide the server name of the Attendant Console server. Click on Next. You can then choose the default presence display for the Attendant Console client. If you're using Microsoft Presence or Cisco Presence or if you're not using any presence at all. Click on Next and you can then choose your language which you want the software installed in from the list click next if your operator is visually impaired we integrate with JAWS system so you can select yes for it to install the relevant scripts click next and then you can select the box to add the icon to the desktop if you wish and click next and click next to continue the installation Once the installation is complete, click finish. The software is now installed, but I need to do one last thing, which is set the relevant permissions on the registry. The Attendant Console client has a host of preferences which the operator can select. These preferences are stored in the registry of the machine, so in order for them to be able to configure those preferences, they need to have access. To set this, click on Start and open RegEdit and then navigate to local machine software while well, 6432 node that's assuming that you're using a 64-bit server if not you'll see it listed here as Arc Solutions right click on Arc Solutions and select permissions and in here I'm going to add everyone check names click on OK and give everyone full control I'm then going to click on advanced and I'm going to select to replace all child object permissions with inheritable permissions from this object 
click on OK, click Yes to continue, and click on OK, and you can then close this window. At this point, the software is now installed and is ready to be used.